All right, guys, so we've received a lot of inquiries um, about this Kata program that we're now uh, sort of kicking off in the, in the gunfighting realm. Look, the martial arts guys, okay, those that have a lineage in legitimate and traditional martial arts, they understand, and they're, they're applauding what we're doing. They, they've all, always been looking at what we do in that manner, and all we're doing now is simply codifying um, what we believe should be the standard practice, okay? Those without a martial art background or what the heck is this, you know, and so on. Um, look, again, and, and I've written about this and our, uh, our other um, in-house martial arts expert, Brent Yamamoto. Brent, by the way, I'll tell you right now, he's much better uh, karate, uh, I hate to use expert, uh, karate uh, student than I am. He's much more advanced. If um, if you have a chance to train with him, I suggest you do. You'll 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 see exactly what I'm talking about and the way he moves and the way he conveys information. But in any case, back to the point here. Um, a kata is is basically um, a a classical instructor, one of the founders of traditional karate. Let's say, all right. Um, he gets into a fight, and because he knows how to fight, he wins. He wasn't born knowing how to fight. Somebody taught him how to fight. And the technique that works really well for him, obviously, it it's becomes his go-to technique. You see that today with professional fighters all the time. They have their go-to techniques. All right. So he practices that. And then because he's doing this for a long period of time in his life, he develops two, three, four of these go-to techniques and concepts that um, apply across the board. If you want to win, this is what you're going to do, conceptually as well as technically. All right. And so he begins to teach students and they need to have a cohesive uh, curriculum that illustrates not only the technique, but the why of the technique, as well as the concept and, and the strategy that uh, that technique embodies. All right. So this uh, uh, karate founder takes these techniques, groups them together in a logical order. Uh, they all convey a concept and they all convey a strategy of combat. And he teaches this to students and they practice it over and over and over to the point where they can do these these techniques mindlessly without conscious thought, without thinking, I am now stepping to the right. I am now accessing my pistol. I am now pointing it toward the adversary. They don't have to do any of that stuff. It happens automatically. It happens without thought. And then, you know, before they know it, they've they've executed the technique at hand and they've won the fight. OK, you don't get that by just saying, oh, I like to do this. OK, you get that by practicing uh, these methods thousands of times. You cannot. Um, my gosh, there's no shortcut here. I can't give you a magic pill. You have to learn these things. You have to get out and you have to do them over and over and over every day. Uh, and they will get to the point where they happen automatically and without thought. Many of you can draw your pistols like that as it is. Now, imagine having all of your uh, gunfighting repertoire skills at that level. Okay. Not just your draw, but your reload, your movement, even your thought pattern. Okay. All happening automatically because you have practiced it thousands of times where it becomes an internal process, not an analytical process, okay? That is what the kata is all about. Now, in order for kata to have value, it needs to have a reason for everything that it does. It needs to have a combat proven concept and strategy. Now, what the, what the masters did is they won the fights, they identified the techniques that won the fights, then they taught those techniques to their students. Then they organized them in a kata format. Most traditional uh, karate, uh, well, not in karate, but, you know, it, karate, taekwondo, kung fu, whatever you want to call it, okay? Most uh, traditional hand-to-hand -hand systems, it goes the other way now. They learn the kata, then they learn what the techniques are for, and then they apply them. So they, it's sort of backwards, okay? What, uh, what we've done is uh, the way that the founders did it. Um, we won fights, we identified what won fights, 
we taught those techniques that went fights and now we have organized them in a kata so that uh, when I am long gone from this earth off to my next assignment, um, what I have worked on, what I have taught my students, what has saved their lives will outlive me and hopefully will get taught to other people and so good guys can keep killing bad guys long after I'm forgotten about, okay? Um, that's the purpose of kata. That's why the ancient masters developed them and that's why we're doing what we're doing now. going to talk about the footwork here in pistol kata number one. Okay, imagine that uh, you're standing in the center of an X and there's a line connecting the top of the X and the bottom of the X. So in essence you have two triangles touching each other at their tallest point, the apex. Your, your footwork involves moving off this line quickly off the line of fire. Imagine a man is pointing a pistol directly at you He's about to press the trigger and you have to move quickly out of the way. The footwork that we use is something called the takeoff. We've written extensively about it uh, and it's a very natural movement. It can be done stationary as well as on the move. In essence, it involves driving with the knee in the direction of travel, pushing off with the other foot. It's very natural to do. If you've done any form of athletics, you pick it up right away, okay? As you do that, as you saw, you draw and you present. Movement off the X comes first, the draw is secondary. So the footwork involves off the X this way. Now, in real life, you can take as many steps as you need, but we've programmed a change in direction so that as the adversary's muzzle is coming back in contact with you, as you plant that foot, you load that leg and you shift direction opposite the direction of travel. This creates another gap as the adversary is starting to close in on you, he overshoots and then he has to get back on you and trap, okay? You continue movement and by this point you've already put quite a bit of ammunition in it. So we are simulating the conclusion of the actual fight. In real life the application of Bunkai of this kata if you will, you keep moving and you keep shooting until he's dead or you're behind cover or you've gotten away. Okay, uh, so we're assuming or uh, imagining at this juncture of the kata, so in other words, okay, we're moving here, make that shift in transition, we get up to this point here, the bad guy is down, so we cover him with a pistol, we begin checking left and right, 360 for initial adversaries, that's inherent in the pattern and the movement, we are right back at the position we started from, make a proactive reload, and uh, at that point, a quick medical check to make sure that you yourself are not injured, and then back to the holster we go. 
All right, there are videos that I've done explaining why I do my proactive reload in the way that I do it. Please refer to those videos. Again, this is for gunfighting when you're at your worst, not for winning a, uh, a shooting game when everything is pre-planned and you're at your best, okay? As you see, we do it from concealment. Um, the ancient Okinawans, they didn't have a, uh, a training uniform, a warm-up suit or whatever. They trained in open natural environments like this with the same clothes they wore to work. Okay, this is what I wore to work today. This is what I train in. This is what I lift weights in. All that kind of stuff. Because if you have to fight, it's not going to be on a polished dojo floor when you're all warmed up and all this kind of business. It's going to be when you're not expecting it. You have to fight cold. You have to be able to move cold. Okay? So this is pistol kata number one, diagonal lines in its entirety in the clothing that you will wear to battle. Okay?